Hello everyone, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at keyboard shortcuts inside Livewire. So these are going to be very handy when you want to, for example, submit a form or perform some sort of action when a keyboard combination is set up. So let's take a look at an example. For today's video, I have this a simple registration form that I have used throughout the course. And right now, the only way to submit the form is by clicking this create button, right? So what I would like to also do is if I hit enter, I would also like to submit the form, right? So let's go ahead and see how we can do that inside Livewire. So the process is very simple. If, uh, you need to go ahead and open up your Livewire component blade file. So this is my, this component's blade file. And you can define these keyboard shortcuts anywhere on the component itself. So I could put it on the root div. I could put it on the form that I have over here. Uh, I have a submission button at the bottom. I can also put it over here. You can put it wherever you like. It doesn't really matter where you put it. So in this case, I'll put it on the root element or the parent div, okay? And in order to listen for a keyboard shortcut, you can say wire, key down. And then after that, you can follow it uh, up by one of the supported keys. Now, the supported keys are listed on the documentation. So you guys need to go ahead and check that if a key you want is supported or not. I will also have the link in the documentation. So it's actually under the library documentation, actions. And you can actually search for key and I think it should be the first one, yeah. So if you scroll down over here under listening for specific keys, there is actually the list of available key modifiers. So these are all the available options. So it's not all the possible keyboard combinations, but the most common ones, right? So you have shift, enter, space, control, up, down, basically all the things you need, okay? And then there is meta, which is basically command or, uh, you know, window key on Windows. So you can pick any of these. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick enter. So I'm going to go ahead and say wire key down dot enter. And then afterward, this is kind of similar to what we did previously with wire click. Okay, so you can go ahead and have an equal sign and have it perform some sort of action or some sort of dispatch an event, whatever you like. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and call an action. Okay, so I have a form over here that submits by calling this create action. I'm going to do the exact same thing my form does. Okay, so if I hit enter, it will go ahead and submit my form. So let's save this up. It has moved all the way over here due to my uh, kind of uh, formatter. So let's go back. Let's take a look. Now, by default, these shortcuts are only applied when you're kind of focused on your component. Okay, so in this case, for me, I need to kind of click on one of these inputs and then hit enter. And only then it will register it, right? Now, by default, I think if you're using forms, it also works with enter. So let's maybe use space instead. So let's try again. Uh, if I hit space normally, it's not triggering it. I have to go on password and then hit space. So I just hit space right now, guys. You can't see, but I did just press it. Now, if you want this to register or listen for keyboard downs anywhere on the screen, even when you're not focused on your element, you need to go ahead and add an extra modifier of a window, okay? Now, if you're familiar with Alpine.js, there is a similar modifier on Alpine.js as well. And it kind of serves the same same purpose, okay? So it basically tells a live word to listen for this uh, space key anywhere on the screen. So if I reload now, if I hit space even outside the page, or even when I'm not focused, it's submitting it. So you may want to kind of check that if you need that, okay? So that's the next one. Now, you can also go ahead and actually combine these two keys. So for example, you made one shift enter, right? And you don't want enter, you want shift enter. So in order to do that, there's actually the example over here they give. So you can have your initial key and then follow it up with a dot and then the second key you want. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. I'm going to say shift dot space. So this is basically a two key combination. I'll just save it up. Let's go back, try again. So if I'm hitting space regularly and I'm hitting it hard, so you guys hopefully can hear on the video. Now I'm going to try a shift space. And as you can see, it just immediately submits the form, right? So it's quite useful. Now I already covered this window modifier. There are actually a few other ones. Now you do need to scroll down a little bit on the documentation. So there are actually all these other modifiers. For example, there is one for prevent. It basically prevents the default, you know, uh, it runs prevent default on JavaScript. There is stop propagation. There is a window that I already covered. There is actually outside. So it's kind of only listens for events triggered from outside the document. So if I come over here and I select one of these inputs, it won't actually trigger. So let's go ahead and replace window with uh, outside. And if I select password and I hit shift space, it's actually not 
uh, doing anything okay so you can also go ahead and use outside uh, if you need it for some reason uh, and then there's a couple of them so another one that might be useful is uh, debounce so if you want to have a little bit of delay uh, before registering the keyboard shortcut so let's go ahead and take a look at debounce as well i return this back to window and i do a uh, debounce and then you can give it a day, kind of a time in milliseconds so i'll do uh, let's say 900 milliseconds and I don't think it supports seconds, so this is not supported as far as I'm aware. So you need to do milliseconds only. So let's go back and I'm going to hit it. I'll let you guys when I hit it. And then there should be about a 900 millisecond uh, difference. So I'll hit it now. Now it took about roughly one second for it to perform. So it works kind of the same way as wire model debounce. So it starts handling it after you perform the keyboard combination. So these two also be could be useful so you don't need to check out the documentation however the most common one probably is going to be window maybe you want to take a look at stop and prevent and then the supported list of uh, keyboards or keys are on the website so you do need to check this out not all of them are uh, supported okay so just something to keep in mind now we can also go ahead and have multiple of these so you're not limited to only one i can go ahead and define another one instead of a uh, space window let's see i'm gonna do a uh, right why not okay so i'll do the right key you can also go ahead and do that define multiple of these so let me move it over here so if i go back i'll do a quick reload so you guys can see uh, i'm hitting the right key and it is also submitting my form with the debounce and then you can again as i mentioned guys you can match put a couple of these modifiers after each other so we have window then followed by debounce so you can definitely do that and uh, combine them together and if you want multiple keys again do it this way first key followed by a dot and then the second key and if you want another key uh, let's try that as well so i'll do a shift space right why not weird combination but let's say you need a three key combination you can also go ahead and do that let me remove the debounce so there is uh, no delay so it's shift uh, space right i'll try again shift space right and i'll just hit that combination and it also works with three key combination so if you want that you can also go ahead and perform this so this is quite useful if you have forms maybe you have a search bar filter boxes things like that you want it to also submit when you hit enter totally works you might have a list and you want to go up and down the list you can maybe listen for those keys as well so that's basically how a keyboard shortcuts work in liver very easy to do kind of similar to how you handle uh, wire click events so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below as always if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i see you guys on the next episode have a great day